Hey guys, I'm NBA Shooting Coach Dave Love. In this video, I want to show you how your hand positioning on the basketball can lead to a more consistent and repeatable release. And if you want more information from a real NBA shooting coach that works with real NBA players to help them shoot career highs, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. In order to be a consistent shooter with a great release, we need to get the middle of our hand underneath the middle of the ball at our set point. If you can do that, you're supporting both sides of the ball evenly and lifting both sides of the ball evenly and the ball is going to go straight. To get the middle of our hand on the middle of the ball, we need to know what the middle of our hand is. So grab a basketball, put your index finger, your pointer finger on the middle of the ball, spread your thumb out nice and wide, and then with your guide hand, I want you to measure the distance between the tip of your index finger and the tip of your thumb. Then compare that to the distance between the tip of your index finger and the tip of the pinky. Most people are gonna find that those two distances are exactly the same, and therefore the index finger is actually the middle of your hand. That is what we need to have on the bottom of the basketball at that set point. Make sure that you realize that the hands are related. Shooting hand issues cause guide hand problems and guide hand issues cause shooting hand problems. We need to ultimately fix both hands so that we can create a clean, consistent, repeatable release. So once we have our shooting hand in the right position, now we can focus our attention on putting our guide hand in a very simple position where all it has to do is make a simple move to get out of the way of the ball. Try to hold the basketball in such a way that your guide hand will be on the side of the ball when you get to your set point. Now all you have to do is make a very tiny, simple move and the guide hand doesn't interfere with the shot. If you end up with your guide hand on the front or the top of the ball, you can still make shots. It's just going to be a little bit harder because now you have to make a bigger move with your guide hand to get it out of the way. Once we've figured out where the guide hand needs to be, we have to figure out when to take your guide hand off the basketball. Remember, the shooting hand is responsible for the entire shooting motion. The guide hand will need to support it until the shooting hand is able to fully support the ball by itself. If I were to take away my guide hand now, my shooting hand isn't in a position to be able to support the ball. If I were to take away my guide hand now, my shooting hand still isn't able to fully support the ball. But once we get the ball up to the set point, my shooting hand is ready to take over the full duties of the shooting motion, so that's when we can start to take our guide hand off the ball. Now you may not see the guide hand releasing from the ball until the ball gets a little bit higher from the set point, but the set point is around the position that we should be starting to release the guide hand from the ball. Getting your guide hand off the ball can be a challenge for a lot of young players and we really need to slow down and be deliberate about what we're doing. In other words, isolate that habit and then slowly layer in drills to make it more like a game as we get better at that habit. One of the best drills that you can do to get your shooting hand in the right position and get your guide hand off the basketball is to stay close to the hoop and do form shooting where you're very deliberate about your hand positioning. Put the ball up at your set point with the middle of your hand on the very bottom of the basketball and then because we're trying to build the habit of getting our guide hand off the ball, have your guide hand off the ball. Hold this position for three seconds, one, two, three, and then lift and snap. If you want the full progression of drills I use with my NBA clients to isolate the habits of hand placement and hand usage, and then learn how to layer those drills so that you can finally apply them into a game setting, make sure you click the link below and get my shot development system, Pure Release. Then, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.